What's up guys, welcome back. Today, we have a little project for Halloween and I'm gonna show you a new trick in this one. Last year, we did some pumpkins that were a little bit bigger, but this year we're gonna continue with the small sculpture theme that we've been doing and show you how to make a miniature pumpkin. The first thing that I'm gonna do is grab some Glass Alchemy Orange Crayon. And this is an awesome color and it's been developed over years and years. And you're welcome to check it out on my website, Revere Glass, or from Glass Alchemy. I'm going to start gathering the orange glass and make sure that I use a really light and uh, neutral flame to make sure that it's not going to be bubbling or boiling at all. And there's a few different kinds of molds that you can use, or you can just do this by hand with a butter knife and what I'm going to use is called an optic mold and it's a traditional soft glass mold that's used for making uh, lines in glass. I'm going to use this tool which is called a taglia and I'm going to shape that glass to make it a little bit more round. Next thing I'm going to do is put my punty on make sure that it's not too hot and I can detach it from the original rod. Notice that I put a much smaller connection on this side and that's gonna help me detach it and definitely create less deformity in the glass. There's a little bit of clear on the end. I'm just gonna grab that and pull that off and you can still see the clear. So I'll go in there again and pull a little bit more off till we just have the orange. And you can see it just coming together and now there's only orange. Pulling off a little bit just to finalize it. And now I'm going to put it in the optic mold. So I'll push down in here and all of those little lines and ridges are going to create the lines on the outside of the pumpkin. Next thing I'll do is I'll attach another rod to the other side as a different punty so that I can finish shaping the other side of the pumpkin to be round. So I'm going to go in, heat it up and pull off any excess clear like I did last time. And the pumpkin's not quite flat yet, so what I'm going to do is heat it up and make more of a sphere. And in this process, it is going to erase the lines a little bit. You want to make sure you line it up really good here. And I'll push it in. There we go. So now I have the lines going through the whole side, all around the pumpkin, all the way from top to bottom. You can totally do this with the butter knife uh, or the optic mold, whatever you, you find is best. So I'll heat that up and now I'm going to round it out a little bit and all this process of heating it up and pushing on it definitely takes more and more away from the ridges that I put in. So I'll attach a punchy to the other side and you can use the optic mold back and forth until you're happy with it. And when you are happy, then we can start to finish up the sphere shape. So here we go. Pull that off. And now I'm going to just make this as round as I can. Maybe use the optic mold one more time, but pretty lightly. I don't want to push and start to deform the shape. So I'll heat this up and I want to make sure that I can get the lines to connect. So what I'm going to do is use this nice taglia marble mold first to make it round. Roll that around in there and heat that up. Let me clear up any confusion. There's a company called Taglia Tool, and this particular tool is called a Taglia. So the company is actually named after, after this tool. So we're using both here. And I'm using the, the Taglia to go back and forth to make sure that I, can, I have the continual indent from, from top to bottom. And so I'm just going into where the ridges already are, pushing in, and then making all of the lines. I'll heat it up and use the taglia again to shape it a little bit. And we're getting close to a sphere with all the lines in it all the way through. You can use the side as a, as a paddle, kind of like you would a graphite paddle. All right. So now I'll push the bottom down a little bit just to make sure that it's, it's flat. And I'm going to take my tweezers and make a little indent. You don't have to do this part and you know, whether that you want to or not is fine. Use my tool again to, to flatten it out. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to attach a little bit of a punty to the bottom. 
and uh, you can you can plug the hole and then pull it out and push the indent back or you can do a hollow punty and break it off um, or you can do the indent after you attach it all right so now I'm gonna pull off the excess clear glass from the other punty and we're gonna get ready to to add the little stem round this off a little bit and here we go so now that we have the shape pretty much round with a flat bottom we're gonna make sure that everything looks good and I'll put this in the kiln all right the next step is to this so this is like a another soft glass technique and I haven't showed you guys this technique in any videos previously so something I've been wanting to show you guys and it's pretty fun pretty cool notice that I put the graphite rod under my marver so that it would keep in place uh, you can definitely do this with a, a vise which would be a little bit easier so i get about an inch or two hot wrap it around there we go so now this is going to be the stem of the pumpkin so once you get it on there you can pull it off pull out your graphite be careful it might be a little bit hot and there we go so now i have a coil which i can attach to the pumpkin as a stem i'm going to take off this thick piece so it'll be a nice uh, thin attachment point and I'm going to heat it up a little bit and condense this down so I'm going to squeeze it with my tweezers and get the coils closer and closer together um, maybe they don't touch maybe they do touch up to you so once you have it squeezed down you're welcome to grab your pumpkin and just make an attachment point put those together make sure it's nicely sealed because this is pretty delicate do it right in the center and now you can remove any excess of the green glass alchemy shamrock it's a really great and stable color definitely have a look and, and check out what colors are available so i'm going to pull off the last little bit of the stem trying to pull that to uh, a point making sure that it's not too thick all right once i have that connected and the coil in the place that i want i'm going to heat up the the base of the stem and wrap that around the top of the pumpkin there we go you can open it up or close it with your tweezers whatever you like i'm going to kind of bring it down a little bit on the side there we go and this is like a tiny little pumpkin it's a lot of fun a great gift you can give to people if you set up a few of them you can uh, make a little halloween scene and i'm using the mad hatter uh, revere glass collaboration bunsen you should check this out it's uh, a super cool tool and I'm using it to put a nice uh, soaking heat in the piece before I put it in the kiln. So now I'm going to remove the rod that I used for the punty, pick out the excess glass, and push down on the table. Heat it up. You can push it down again if you want. Make sure it's nice and stable, sitting in the way that you want. And there we go. We have a Halloween pumpkin for you guys. Uh, please enjoy the video. Tag me when you make it. I'd love to see what you guys do. Thanks.